605, I guess we'll call the meeting to order. Anybody have any adjustments to the agenda? The things that got left off or do you have a copy of the agenda? We you? We're gonna be able to discuss the drain thing for the firehouse that wasn't on there. The drain thing? No, you didn't mention that. It wasn't my letter, wasn't it? Mm, I don't know. For sure. No. We talked about it on the phone. I can't remember it. Yeah, I know we talked about it too, but yeah. Uh, did you? Yeah, more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that could be an adjustment, I guess. Yeah, because we need Okay. That one. Sorry. Come on. I don't want this one. <laughs> no, they're just trying to. Never mind. <laughs> okay, uh, we have approved the bills. Uh, with one exception that's going to wait until Chris can sign it. Um, we approve the minutes. Well, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I move that we approve the minutes. I second that. Okay, all in favor. Yeah, so we approve the minutes from the last meeting. Any public comment that is not about anything that's not on the agenda? Guess not. Okay, so fire department. You're on. Uh, I'm not a woman, so don't I have to have permission to speak? She just gave it to you. Okay. <laughs> this well, is not, I'm, I'm not, uh, what's that guy's name? Steve Murphy. <laughs> 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 but they let you be on the fire department and run things? Well, I lived here for most of my life. Yeah. Uh, so the piece that I have to talk about is pretty simple. It's just our uh, MOU for the year. Um, mm -hmm. The verbiage hasn't changed at all. Mm -hmm. um, simply need to sign it from the select board and then the chief and the president. I've got copies here for if anybody wants to look at them and then copies for both parties. To sign. Have you got a copy that has the right pagination? Uh, I have the yeah. copy that I sent you <laughs> and his email. You know. I mean, this one has page two in the bot in the middle. Uh, of the, you know, like that. just for stupid people right there. What's an MOU? Uh, it is a memorandum of understanding. Basically, it says what we're going to do and what the town's going to do. Because with the way that we vote at town meeting, there's no oversight by the select board for the fire department's money. So we could say, well, we need all the money July first. So it has things in it like we pay quarterly payments instead of all at once. And it lays out when the payments for like the capital fund come out. So it doesn't come out before the taxes arrive, that sort of thing. That's really all it's ever done. It's the same thing we have with Cal, so Cal is mm -hmm. a contract. Has it been 10, 15 years we've been doing this? I thought we had already signed this. If we mm -hmm. did, it was never sent to us. But we've been doing it annually. We could have it open ended if we choose mm. to do it that way. Mm. No. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, did, does your copy also have page two on the no, it does second not. page? Well, then or it says page one on the front page and it does not say, uh, it does say page two. You were correct. In the middle of it. I did not notice that. Well, I guess it doesn't make a big difference. It's not going anywhere, right? It's just in town. Correct. So, not the grammar police aren't going to say anything or the typing police. <laughs> so um, have you, you had a chance to look at this before yeah, the we last meeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna sign it. Motion that we approve this memorandum of understanding between the Woodbury Volunteer Fire Department and the town of Woodbury for uh, basically operations during the year. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Okay. <laughs> So I'll sign this one. Yep. Great. Do you have, all I have in this bag is a purple pen. Do you guys care or does Paul have a different, Paul has a different pen? Copy. Hmm? Should Paul sign this copy? Yes, we yeah. will sign that copy as well. We're signing one that we'll have the two of you sign as well. That way we both have a copy. Got it. 
Well, you want us to sign? You have another copy for yes, us? Yes, oh. I'll sign it right now. Okay. Here it is, the one that we signed. You guys can keep that and then we'll sign this for our records. Thank you. You might want to write your name. I mean, uh, you know, like print it. Print it in addition to your signature, since you like your signature is kind of scribbly. <laughs> it's quick, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Sit down. Oh, is this our copy? Your, you copy? Okay, that's our copy. You can give that to Robin. So next you want to talk about the request to use town trucks to haul waste fill from the building site. So I've got a fellow in Marshfield and I've forgotten his name at the moment. I remember who it was, Dale Brown. Dale Brown approached me and wants to uh, donate a day of excavator time. Really? Um, which I could do, but I have a way to haul material away. So I was checking if we would be okay to use the town trucks on a Saturday mm -hmm. or something to do that. So what did you think, Alfie? You heard about this request? Yeah, uh, Paul and I talked about it. I guess I don't have a huge problem with it as long as it's not interfering with our road work. Okay. And being on a Saturday, I don't believe it would be interfering with us uh, drivers is mm -hmm. the next step to think about. Yeah, you'd have to authorize whomever. You oh. saw the Ian back and forth with the insurance. Company. Yeah, so I asked okay a question. We're okay with driving as long as you get the proper CDL plus the training. That would be his good judgment call. Yeah. Who do you have in mind for driving? Well, Tim, for sure. Yeah. Um, the other one, I mean, my son Caleb drives a 10-wheeler for the state every day. And those are my first two choices. I mean, I don't know if Dana does it for Callis. I don't know if he would want to do it, but um, I, I can yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. I think you said a good job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We've got people that it's not a new thing to them. Yeah. I would obviously not put someone in there that, I mean, again, it's really your choice who's okay. That's really what mm -hmm. the insurance company yeah. says. Well, clearly, Timmy, Timmy's okay. Yeah. 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 So, uh, He's the first. <laughs> it's an opportunity to save eight or ten grand and haul and stuff away. Yeah. A day of time will just save us that much money. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's the reason I'm asking. And then the fire department's going to come over and wash the aprons and stuff in town? This out here. Well, we've done it before, but we'd have to pay the people out there working. That's the deal. That's what used to be done. Well, it's still a lot less than 10000 Yeah, Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We have never had that conversation before. Well, it seems to me like you have to pay some back. I was going to say, Dana used to do it all the time. Yeah. Right, but he was being paid by the town uh, as a highway employee at the time. Really? Yeah. You sure of that? I'm Using positive. the fire department truck? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, they used to use Engine 3, and Dana was a town employee. So maybe at the time. Tim would do it. He was getting paid. Oh. <laughs> been done it's just that he was an employee because mm -hmm. we couldn't i don't think it's right to ask a volunteer to go wash aprons but question if timmy's going to be one of your drivers he's volunteering his time for that day well, right we're not paying idea. him that'd be yeah. the idea no he's we're volunteering paid employee mm. so how much fill do you think will be coming out of there I, really I mean, know. two trucks all day long with an excavator is... Yeah, it all depends. The limiting factors, trucking or the excavator, I don't know how big his excavator is. He it's, a big does, one. it's a big excavator, the limiting factor is the truck, or it's a little excavator, the limiting factor No, the limiting factor, factor the is the ledge. Yeah, if we're finding, oh. I know where we want to dig drain yeah. it. I know we go toward the south, there's going to oh. be some ledge in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And where's this stuff going once you get it in the truck and... Um, the last the time we hauled material away, it went up to... Uh, Lagus. Lagus's. Uh, I know uh, Chance has room for some, and I know Tim Neal has room for some. It's all places in the town's currently. So is there, is there any option? I mean, if you're talking thousands, you know, I mean, a um, hundred truckloads or something like that, is there an option for anyone else, like within a half a mile, to get any of that? 
I'm I'm good with any. The the fact that we just don't want to truck it really far. Right. That just increased cost. And it has to have be a place that's not right. it's near gonna, water. It's going to be an upland, non-wetland yeah. area, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah, it's going to be accessible. You got to right. get to it yeah. getting the truck stuck. So yeah. it's a lot, lot. Yeah. Because a couple just, people said it, but it's near a brook. I don't want to get involved in that. And then no. someone else it was near a mud hole, and I ain't interested well, in that. Well, if you start getting near brooks and everything else, right. right. you got to sure. put a silt fence up and everything else. Yeah, so yeah, I know yeah. there's mm -hmm. two places for sure the town's already hauling material. Mm -hmm. You can easily dump it there. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like, oh, no chance has a spot. He needs a few loads. I know Dale might want a couple loads of his sons. I don't know where that is, but they're going to have it. They didn't want to get too far down the road if it wasn't an option. So, mm -hmm. up the hill. you got a spot up there too for. No. That's what. It's Debbie's. Yeah. Oh, I they need. Debbie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Debbie, I mean, yeah. I, I, yes, I said we'll haul as much as we can. Mm -hmm. and if it's longer than a mile or two, I don't have an, a problem with uh, it's going somewhere. It just needs to be gone. Mm -hmm. As far as how much there is, the engineer's got to stake it and tell us. There's obviously quite a bit's got to go. You haven't got to measure too much, you know. So, right. Plus, ledge will dictate quite a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. As well. I know there's no ledge to the back, and I know about eight to twelve feet to the south. There's no ledge. You get toward the middle where those trees are. That maple tree sticking up. There's ledge right there because we dug down. Yeah, I know where that is. So I would I would uh, support Chuck's idea of some sort of a trade. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's going to cost the town fuel, it's going to cost... Well, we were willing, if you fill the truck, we'll, we'll fill it when it leaves. Yeah, but, I mean, you guys are volunteering all the time. Why can't you run a truck to wash some of our intersections? Well, I think it's unreasonable to ask somebody to do that work as a volunteer. Why? Well, you're asking Timmy to work to volunteer on, on our, you know, right. using our truck. I mean, what's the difference, volunteering or volunteering? Are you volunteering for the good of the town or the good of the family? I'm already volunteering for the good of the town. I put in a lot of time every year for the town, and so do a lot of our members. 15 hours this week in training, plus I did a 10-hour class mm. to get keep my EMT license. That's all I'm saying. I don't think he meant you personally. But, I, I didn't. You know, you well, no, no. Because you mean <laughs> if, you, if you, what I'm asking for a truck, I'm not asking for you personally to donate your time. You're asking that of my people or me. No, you're you're getting a benefit from the highway crew to benefit. I would say you're getting a large benefit. So why can't you have some of your people just run a garden hose on our intersections? That's that's simple. That's not a lot of labor. If you got somebody out there with an inch and a half, it would take you four hours. You'd be all done. Well, I mean, I use it as as a part of a training. I, I, I'd have to ask the members before I could agree to that. I think it's an unreasonable request. If we pay highway workers, they don't pay. When are people volunteering to do that? I'm asking for a piece of equipment, not people. Mm, how's that different? <laughs> it's still, let you it's still a value. It's still a value, whether it's whether it's manpower. Well, you didn't share this with me earlier. If you had an objection to it, I don't know where this I came don't. From. I just I'm just sort of supporting Chuck's idea. I, I think that no. In the past, it there was a trade there. of rinsing out culverts, and then it became an issue <clears throat> that your insurance company didn't want us. That's never been the case because we've always had the same insurance company. Correct. Um, but the fire department used to rinse out all the culverts and it would save us. No, that's not true. Dana worked for the highway department and was paid by the town of Woodbury when he was uh, rinsing out culverts. So can we use the fire, the equipment to rinse out culverts and... and um, yeah. Pay Tim. It's been done before. We could have that conversation. But if the employees need to be paid is my my concern. Mm. Truck, well, truck. If we were not if we were running the truck. I mean, well, if you were running the truck, you'd be paying the employee, right? Right, but we'd be providing service to the town. We'd be doing right. You're just using like, what I'm saying. That's what was done. Using your truck. Correct. That's what was done before. <clears throat> right. That was done before. That's not. That's what. That's what Brandy's asking. That's what her question Oh, and that's what she said. They said it stopped because of insurance. That was what I was confused about. What, what I'm trying to get as clear is it, it's never been a, the, the volunteer firefighters are out doing highway work with the fire truck for free. Well, they were paid. Mm -hmm. Well, we better resell okay. that. Well, I've been here 31 years. It hasn't happened since I've been here. Mm. So I can. Because I've volunteered a lot of times. Okay. Chuck, what did you hear me just say? I heard you. Not in the last 31 years. But don't say never. Well, I, I'll clarify. It hasn't happened since I did it, since I've been around. 
they were paid. What's the reason it feels like such a big deal? Um, because I mean, you're asking too much for the volunteers who are already putting in way too much time. I mean, I don't need to save this money for the town, nor do I need to put the volunteers to more work than they're already doing. Uh, it, it, it feels unappreciated when you think, oh, well, they can give more time. That's the concern I have. If it's this much of a big deal, we'll withdraw this request and we won't do it. We'll just pay a contractor to do it. Well, That's I all I can do. I can't. I think Brandy's idea was to trade equipment. Well, we're I don't we're using our dump trucks to right. And I didn't. I didn't material. say that that was. I had an objection to that. Right. Well, that's 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 the question on the table right now. No, the question I had is, you wanted the volunteers to take the truck. That's what I heard. Right. Well, I you said right. Well, that's what you I, said no to that. that is so the I next said. the next step was okay. to, can we use your truck and just you just trade truck usage? Oh, we can talk about that. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that okay. if it's an hour for hour. Right, but you want an answer tonight. We want an answer tonight. Uh, an hour for hour? No, so we we use your no not necessarily. I mean, whatever, whatever. I mean, it doesn't have to be that hard, really. No. But just, just to change the subject a bit, I don't think you should be involved in it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I don't believe you should use the town trucks for that. Okay. Right out flat. All right. Well, we'll, withdraw, have, we'll withdraw the request. You people yeah, are not really good. cooperating at certain times. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm not. This is not part of this. I, I no, have done so on. much for this community, Ken. I've never marginalized your contribution to the community like you try to do mine, sir. I respect your service in the past. I wish you would respect mine. You sit here and accuse us of not doing enough for this community. And I take great exception to that. What did I say? I thought I heard you say that we don't do anything for this community or enough for this community. If yeah, that's not what you said. Well, I didn't think it did. But what did you I think? know you do things for the community. I do As a lot. As a firefighter and a crew, you do things for the community. A lot. But I don't believe you should be using our equipment. Okay. When you're collecting money from us to run that and you, and you want these things, and, I mean, just look at it. I mean, if you're going to work some extra time, this so guy sat beside him, we probably tell you we could use gravel trucks to do that with too, because we sure as hell need it. And you just keep piling on this. That's cool. That wasn't my idea. And my idea was to try to save some money on the fire station construction. That was my idea. Which is all being paid by the same taxpayers Which is all being who paid pay by the same the taxpayers the in the town of Woodbury. That was what my idea was. I'm not trying to take anything. I'm not trying to put a burden on the town. If the folks here think that that's too much of a burden, then I'll just withdraw that request and we'll pay a contract to do it. But that was my, we're not trying to get anything for free. I'm trying to save the town some money. So if it was possible to find someone to run the water truck who was already on the town payroll for a few hours. That could be discussed, a, yes. That's a possibility. It's been done, but it's been done in the past. Mm-hmm. But no, no one has approached me in years about it. That's why I just was taken back yeah. by it, because no one has asked. It was done previous. Mm -hmm. We had trucks hauling fill for the first fire station here, and, and uh, they were all volunteer trucks from the public. Right. I think and we had four or five of them. Sure, and, and I could ask for that. We had bucket loaders that was loading them. We had the gravel uh -huh. for it. We went out and we got it. We didn't, the town didn't pay anything. Not okay. a nickel. They didn't even pay for the first truck, so I know we didn't have a hell of a lot, but uh, they worked their way up. Mm -hmm. And and the way it looks to me, and I, you're taking on too much for this town. Uh, just just by continuing, I mean, you've got to... What comes to us is what gets dispatched. I don't get a choice of what we get to respond to. I can't say, oh, you're, we can't accept your emergency. That's what I mean. What you see us doing is what is needed by the community. That's what's being dispatched on 911. And they've done a good job over the last three or more years convincing the voters that they need a new fire station. And I think the voters uh, are going to appreciate that, having that. Well, what I suggested maybe you could wash an apron. I certainly wasn't looking. Stats are World War III. No, and again, I mean, it, it just seemed like that it wouldn't hurt to pay back a little bit. But well, what I'm just trying to get at is we do pay back. We put a ton of time into this community you already. Do. Yes, you do. A ton. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. If you knew how much time, oh, I know. It's a lot different than it was in 1975. We're going to be pushing 200 calls this year. I, I, I just, I, I can't, I'm trying to make you understand, I'm not trying to get something more out of the town. Mm. This request is, 
I've got a free excavator. If I can get some reduced cost trucking or no cost trucking, I can save a pile of money that we don't have to borrow and that the voters don't have to pay back. Mm -hmm. That was the request. And if it's no, okay, I'll just... I've been doing quite a lot of, uh, well, a couple times reading your letter that you sent out there. There's a pile of money laying in that thing. It's the way you... you Where? Well, on, on you know, replacing your equipment. Well, on, the, on the station or the trucks? What? The station or the trucks? Oh, the, the trucks. trucks. Oh, the trucks are Which cars. Which to me, it's, you know... They're expensive. It, it's money. Right, and they're expensive. Yes, they're damn expensive. And, yep. and you, know, you don't necessarily need everything new either. Some of your trucks may be expiring on, on the year they're born, but as long as you can set them up and run a pumping test and the rest of it, that pump is all right to you. Well, it's not as simple as that anymore, because right now we've, we've improved our ISO rating to 8, which is making everyone's insurance premiums lower, quite significantly lower. And we have to maintain one pumper truck that's 10 years old or newer, so we've been doing that. Our replacement schedule is set up to keep one truck that's between 10 and 20 years old, and one truck is between one and ten years old. I think we're kind of getting off the subject here. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. these guys, he wants to attack our budget. That wasn't what I was going no. to talk yeah, about. Yeah, let's not that, talk about that right now. Um, we're not trying to fleece the But ground. I think the, uh, in the uh, idea of hosing off the aprons, I mean, we can't just, can we go out and hire somebody else's water truck? Do other places have water trucks? Or is that kind of a specialized... Well, we equipment that the borrowing truck set up now to do it. Yeah. But I, like I say, I certainly wasn't looking to get World War Three started. I was just bringing up the fact that it seemed like it would be nice to show mm -hmm. appreciation and trade off. <coughs> I, I think it's working together. That's what we got to do. Well, I've always yeah. done my best to work together. We yeah. never yeah. not yeah. That's that's. I'm totally willing to do that. Uh -oh. 100%. But the tone feels like, hey, you're not doing enough. That's what I'm feeling. Maybe I'm misreading the situation. Yeah. But well, you're not hearing that. You are on my back. Okay. Well, that's what it feels like, just so you understand. Because because it, it just, I take it personally because of the amount of time I put in for nothing, hmm. basically nothing. And then have someone say, you need to do more. I can't do more. If it comes, i got to do more. I'll resign this instant, and we will have no fire department. I, don't, I just I can't do more. I don't have more time. Okay, well, I'd like, I guess I'd like to make a motion that we approve the request to use the trucks. Yeah, I would approve the request. One of the volunteers is going to be someone who's already on the payroll, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> He's under our insurance, and the LCT has said that it's not a, an insurance problem for other people to drive the town trucks, as long as it's for um, fire department. Fire. It's not like... Yeah, it's not like well, we're lending our trucks. It, yeah, to yeah, we would never do that. So, so what do you think? I would second, second that. Second motion. All yeah. in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Yep. And Paul, just to be clear too, when we talked on the phone, I said that I would support that. I think it's good for us all to work together. Um, and so, you know, I appreciate the time that you put in. I think most people do. I didn't. I just took offense to some of that. And I, if, I, if I misread you guys, I, I'm sorry, but it's a little sensitive when you just spent your whole weekend doing it. <laughs> Someone didn't put enough time in. It's like I put in 25 hours. <sighs> so we want to talk about the... Uh, if you've got time or um, if you don't, we can... Do just, um, yeah, we got time. So um, the, the request is our floor drain. Um, if you can see this. You have that grease trap in there, Glass? Yeah. You guys can look at it, too. You got your glasses on. You got glasses on. Yeah, it's pretty small. So essentially, we're exempt from what they call a UIC permit. Thank is goodness. An underground water injection permit. Mm. Essentially, if you have a floor drain and you don't have. Or, if you don't have a public sewer and you have more than 30 automobile washes a week, you're supposed to put your water into a, uh, drain water into a leach field, just like a septic system. Um, we're exempt from that, but we're not exempt from the requirements to not just dump it into the brook like the current situation is. So the proposal for the new station is it's going to go a floor drain system in the bay that will go out through the foundation and in the back uh, on the, if you 
look in the right, left rear corner, there's a, a grit and oil separator. And then it will gravity feed into a pump station, which then will pump it across the ground. And then the is at issue is we can't dump that water on the same lawn where our leach field is, according to the leach field people. So we were hoping to dump the water just over the property line up against, you see the yellow, little yellow mark that's mm -hmm. way up against the back bank. And there's a little stone thing. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that the water just sits there and evaporates. They don't want it running across the lawn. They don't want it running down into the road. So, little so that's my request. Sediment basin. I mean, it's just a Yeah, it's, it's yeah. little. It's not, I mean, we're talking about mm -hmm. if we have two garden hoses running like less than three gallons a minute, mm -hmm. it's not a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Because the alternative to this is the pump station comes out, we have mm -hmm. to put a four or five thousand gallon tank in and collect the water and then have it hauled away with a septic mm -hmm. truck. Well, I'll check again, but I'm pretty sure that the uh, FEMA restrictions only say no building. Yeah, because this is I'm just going to be a sure, little yeah. stone. It's, yeah. It's just going to be even with mm -hmm. the ground. And it's how far away from the brook? Far enough, anyway. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, the state has approved this plan. Oh, and okay. It's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Originally, we thought we could just dump it, and then they're like, oh, no, it's going to be on top of where the leach field yeah. is, which I didn't think was a problem, but apparently okay. it is, so. And oh, a yeah. what's the approach, the size? You said it, it's small, but what's it's the It's small. It's, it's like, you like showed me something about like this. Four feet in diameter, yeah. pond. Yeah, we can yeah. get more details on it if needed. Yeah. So is that at the surface? It's on the surface, on yeah. The surface, yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. other choice is there you have to slope the door to the apron, which then is going to make ice, but the problem is for our V-transfer, mm -hmm. we can't send water down the apron, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in fact, I didn't want to do that anyways. It's going to go out the floor drain, and then they don't like floor mm -hmm. drains, but we don't do service work in the bays. It's just water from washing. And you're still making a foot of goose trap in? Oh, yeah. yeah. Which that'll have to be cleaned periodically. I don't know what that's going to be, but mm. uh. <laughs> I'll probably have to budget for at least once a year to have that thing pumped mm. out. But there's not a lot of water, but you know, over the year mm. it's probably I don't know. Sometimes we wash no trucks a week. Sometimes four or five trucks a week. I don't know. Mm. The pro if it's anything like the one we end up to the landfill, the problem is just sand more than it is. Yeah, so mm. that's what I think. Our issue is, that's mm. time. Yes. Mm. But they'll have to come suck it out. Right. Mm -hmm. There really shouldn't be any grease. I've never seen any grease on the floor yet. Right. So then when you wash the trucks, you're going to have to wash them inside the building? Oh, we can wash them outside. Um, the, the, the slope design of the area is going to wash to the side and then into this little swale and down the ditch, which is okay, apparently. Um, but when we have to wash them inside, the floor drain becomes an issue because they I guess they're afraid someone's going to dump oil down it, I guess. That's happened. But you're no longer allowed to have a drain that just goes from the drain out to the right. bank anymore, mm -hmm. even if it went through the... If, we, if the slope was right, you could go through a gravity into the grease and oil separator, and it could run gravity onto the ground to where mm -hmm. it has to just evaporate. It can't go straight, straight into the door. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Well, I still haven't given up on the property line issue, but... Um, I'm not going to go there right now. Right. <laughs> so um, I think that shouldn't be a problem. I'd vote in to make a motion do that we you, approve that. Do you need to check with FEMA? Or? No. Well, remember, we have some ball that too. There's just no structures. There's yeah. no structure here. We can't pave it. We, no. can't, um, we can put grass gravel is what I remember mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. You can put a picnic table or something on it. They want it so if it floods, it'll just flood and it doesn't do any damage. Something that's not going to impede flooding. So mm. for yeah. And you said you might do a little right away or something we can, like if you that. Need some yeah. kind of agreement. I don't know. If really I don't, know. Do I don't really piece, think we do. It's going to be an inch and a half pipe. Yeah. Into some stone. I'll check the I'll check the FEMA restrictions, but I'm pretty sure that it's uh, not like going to be anything. Else that is it. Can we just vote yes pending? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we can do that. Away. Yeah, probably we will. Something for these one. Yeah, I'm sure we can write something up. It's not uh, a problem. I agree with you because it, it makes more sense to write something. But mm -hmm. I just we're okay to keep proceeding down this road is what my concern mm -hmm. is today. Yeah. Well, pending my review of the final FEMA. Yep. 
restrictions if I can find them somewhere. Then <laughs> yeah, we're both in favor of approving that. Okay. Sorry, I don't have a bigger printer. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. Anything else from you? Okay. <laughs> all right then. I got something, but I'm not quite sure I get to ask now. <laughs> uh -oh. Just be polite. <laughs> um, my why? So we don't. I'm trying to get hardwood to bring the ladder truck up because the problem before is we could thread it through with the old rope. Now that it's completely out, um, I just got to get. Uh, uh, Tommy Fadden to bring up his ladder truck because we don't have, I can't lean my big ladder up there. It's too unstable. Right. So it's mm -hmm. not safe. So I just, a time when I can get him there, he says just come down and take it yourself, but I'm not going to do that. Take the ladder truck yeah, yourself? Yeah, he's always oh, told me to fun. We use, their, we, we use their station <laughs> when we want anyway, but I'm not taking the ladder truck. So uh, I just got to get a time when he can bring it up and we'll put the uh -huh. ladder truck up and fix it. But okay. I'll try to mm. do it soon. But Thank just, you. When, when I can get it done. Is there no flag now? Or? Yeah, the rope broke. It broke back oh. with my arch. Oh, really? Yeah. Got us a new rope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Clerk report. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Paul. you. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Brett Meyer from Washington County Sheriff's Department called. Oh and would like to get an invitation for him and the sheriff to come so they can talk about the contract. Okay. But he would like the select board to send him an invitation so we can get with the sheriff so they can mm -hmm. figure out which is the right day for them. Okay. Yeah, they asked that once before. I wonder if it would be good to, whoever that woman that was that, made so many requests last year. I wonder if it would be good to do it when she's around. I don't know if she's a person who goes to Florida or if she I don't even remember who that was. Yeah, I'd have to look it up. <laughs> Can you give me a little background? Like, is this for speeding patrol or just? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, sheriff patrol contract. Yeah, got it. We give them, what, $5,000 a year? We sign a contract, well, but then they, they bill us. Up to that, right? Yeah, they, on they bill us based on the. And this is to have somebody come out and sit and just right. kind of be a presence. Yeah. Correct. Um, how has it worked in the past? Like we had one of those things, or we still do on Route 14 before the lake, like the thing that tells you how fast speed you're going. Signs? Yeah. Um, Any more? Or there was one. We only have one now, right? We have four. We have four. <laughs> okay, where are they? I guess I haven't been... Either end of the village and either end of the lake, Woodbury Lake. Okay. Do you guys... I mean, I feel like that's kind of enough. Do we really need, like, a police presence, too? No. Yeah. So this, that discussion is just to, to talk about um, and give them more ideas about the flow. Okay. Um, I also called privately, not privately because I called from the town office, <laughs> um, now that we've got cameras, um, the drug traffic is constant. Is constant. Mm -hmm. and, um, so th I'm going to be meeting with them, and I would love another uh, town watch meeting mm -hmm. um, because it's getting to be ridiculous. It's been ridiculous for a while. Where the office was open, Robin was by herself, and we watched. Once I got there, I watched, played back the cameras, and the gentleman got out of a car. The car took off. He came and decided to take a bowel movement outside of the town office in the mm. wide, wide open mm. socks. Mm. And, and um, you know, we're there either by ourselves or as a group, but mm -hmm. it's not stopping. I can, we can look up every five minutes and watch regulars. I can give mm. you a list of names. Well, We've had people stop by our house when the ridiculous. kids were home alone, and that's yeah. not a good feeling at all. Mm. We had a gentleman mm. come in and complain the other day because he... He could hear this real strange noise coming, and it was on that real sharp corner on Foster Hill before you go up by Shatney's. Yeah. 
and the car had two flat tires on it. All windows busted out of it. Car just cruising right up the road. With the flat tires? With the flat with tires. No tires. There was no tires. Nope. It was on rims. Whoa. All the windows smashed out. And he goes, is this a joke? What is the town doing about this? So it's time again. It's time that so discussion gets brought as a community. And, um, yeah. Hmm. So this would be the sheriff's presence would not just be for speeders. It would be somewhat to help control that, too. But no, that's something separate. That separate. They don't, okay. look, they don't okay. like to do that, but I think they... They're shorthanded to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, but, but uh, because that would actually fall under the state police, correct. who were also shorthanded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just waiting on the state police to give me a call back for that discussion. And, and, um, but yeah. So okay. the person driving around with no tires is that something that happens continuously, or was it just one trip that? Uh, it was one trip, failed, um, <laughs> and apparently DOT picked up pieces along the way yeah. mm -hmm. um, and I know where the car is. It was on Foster Hill you said? Dog Pond Road Dog is where Pond it's Road. stationed right now. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. pick one out of two places where it's at. <laughs> yeah. So oh. it's pretty sad that um, mm -hmm. and I went out and hollered <laughs> last week because um, when you're dancing out in the parking lot and the office is open and you're just waiting for the next person to come bring you drugs, um, hmm. I don't like it. Mm -mm. You need to go find a new place to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you shouldn't have put up a lot. No. <clears throat> but they're going to come and check out our camera system um, and whatever they want to do, I am more than willing. Who's going to mm -hmm. check it out? Oh, good. Right. Well, you're calling it to the sheriff's department. Right, that'll be coming. They're transferring it to the state, the drug. Hmm. Sorry to take over your session, Robin. The ad for the highway half timer, I got quotes back from Harvard Gazette and um, News and Citizens. And I made the executive decision to put it into those two papers for this week and next week because they're just weekly papers. Mm -hmm. So the one for News and Citizens will be a 4x4 four four ad and it will cost $238 for the two weeks. And the one for... Does that... Hardwick Gazette, they don't give me the size of theirs, but theirs will be seventy-five sixty for the two weeks. Hmm. And both of those will start this week. Oh. So it was quite a long discussion last week. Did we decide not to go with the Times Argus or the World? I haven't World? Been back from Times Argus, Jeff. Okay. Or the, but you have bills from them in the past. You must have yep. some idea. Of, I know they did a thing for the uh, Cranberry Meadow project that was like this big, <laughs> and that was a hundred dollars. So, Almost hundred eighty dollars. Well, that was the yeah. That's the uh, that's another thing. That was for one that was bigger. <laughs> But uh, we have, so are you not doing them until you get an estimate? Well, is Chris said. I know. And Lizzie anyway. agreed with him that they wanted guesstimates before it went into the paper. I know. And did we decide, did we have a cap on how much we wanted to spend? Did we ever? No. I feel like we kind of never finished that piece. The highway mm. does have an advertising budget. budget. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just uh, a budget. We're probably over that by now. Uh -huh. It's 500. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. We're still in FY23, right? So we're probably way over. But it's a budget. Mm -hmm. If we need well, Have you got anybody to surprise us with? No. So if we still. <laughs> I think if we need more, we, you know, you should just stick it a couple times in the Times Argus. Not every day, but maybe twice in the week. And I don't think it will cost more than $100 a piece. 
Yeah, yeah, we'll send it or get hold of them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Do you want it in the world? It won't be in this week's world. It mm -hmm. will have to be next week's world. Mm -hmm. Can we just play it by ear? Yeah, I think probably once in the world would be a good thing. Has it been in the world already once? Yeah, a couple, few. Well, when did we start this? Two months ago? Uh-huh. Yeah. Advertising expense drives me crazy. Right. It's actually a bad time to be looking for help in the price of construction. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially part time. Yeah. Mm. Your directions is right under Kenny's piece of paper. Oh. Which one? That one. Yep. And then the other thing that I have is the letter of intent for the Roach grant. You said you filled it out? Mm-mm. Oh, you... Okay, I, I got Elfie's here and I got Michael's. So do I send both of them in? I don't know what it is. Every time it comes to me, I, just just I point at you and Michael. I don't know what it's it is. It's the letter of intent saying that we are going to participate in the, okay. in the grant and aid. So you've got two, like, Michael and, and Alfie both did it, mm -hmm. and they're different? Well, they have different emails, different, different contacts. Emails, different names. I would like Alfie's to be with Michael so that there's no, there's no setback. If yeah. Michael doesn't see it, Alfie can do it. Yeah. Alfie did all grants yeah. at Calus, so it's, it's mm -hmm. um, I just want them in timely fashion. Mm -hmm. Done, handed mm -hmm. in. So, is there something we're supposed to sign? Something no, I was just, before I sent these in, I have until the 5th of May, mm -hmm. which I'm not going to take that long. But do I send both of them in, one for Alfie, one for Michael? Or do I put both names on one paper? Put both names on one paper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Hi. How are you? Good. Just got done pickleball. Okay, well. <laughs> Thought I'd visit. You're glowing. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> Thursday, I'll be out of the office because I'll be in the clerk's meeting fairly all day. Hmm. And I think. Oh, and. Down there? Yep. Okay. This one can wait then. Okay. So you're done? I'm done. Brandy? Yep. All right. Lizzie and Diana, I'll hold Chris's until next week. Financial statements, Thank balance you. sheet, mm -hmm. financial, and due to do from. Thank you. Um, cash receipts over the last two weeks, $2,891.40. Delinquent taxes, $7,247.56. Three direct, direct deposits. Um, first one is $18,512.62 for the state of Vermont for class two and three roads for the highway. Um, traffic fines, $254.50. And the last was state of Vermont for recording for $60. Mm -hmm. I transferred 10,000 from the money market to checking. Payroll totaled $10,060.44 mm -hmm. AP. $28,455.69. Do you ever make a copy of that for Tegan? This I always she... share I'm with her. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> she has to write those numbers you really fast. <laughs> um, uh, VLCT is working on my payroll audit, so I should be hearing, actually, um, she emailed me today, Vicki did, um, we're going to be getting a refund, mm -hmm. which is always nice. Mm. Um, but she'll have the final numbers, I'll have that for next mm -hmm. select board meeting. Um, uh, what else am I doing? Think, Brandy. I am going through payroll. Um, the auditors were in the other day, so we're nailing down um, what things I want them to hit key points and vice versa. They're doing the same, mm -hmm. um, which is great. Uh, 
So I threw something together for the herf. Um, in thoughts. That's as far as I want to go with it because ultimately it's the select board's decision on. No, it's good. Good job, though. Good start. All um, as far as that goes. Um, mm -hmm. I talked to Greg today. He found a wonderful room. He did. Um, I'm considering, considering he's got 20 staples in his back. But, um, yeah, so that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my first short-term disability goodies, um, fingers and that. For him? Yep. Um, I can't think. So, any questions for me? So this, some of these assumptions, should we talk about this under the, I don't know if we should talk about this now or under the uh, you know, more discussion. Yeah. Oh, mine's cut out. and pasted. <laughs> um, anybody else? Chuck? So I feel strongly, and I've said this before, um, that we approach um, or have Swenson in to discuss, meet the new owners and discuss mm -hmm. about an increase. It's been over 20 years um, since, and they just, and the auditors, um, actually when this came up, they saw a, um, somewhere where they published that this is the most granite they've been pulling out of the Swenson quarries. Mm -hmm. um, so, I feel that that needs to be checked and whether the disbursement of the money be re-evaluated since we only have, mm -hmm. I don't know the amount of paved roads, um, but right now we're looking at 22,000. I don't know if we ever got numbers as far as repaving goodies. Um. So there's 22,892.58 in the paving. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Whether we say no to the paving for a couple of years and shove it all into the herb and highway to build up the cushion again, or if we're going to go to leasing trucks, or yeah. So I, mm. it's in you guys' hands. So on this um, twenty-eight thousand dollars that you have here for mm -hmm. Swenson in the future, is that based on the current no, contributions? Or just putting it all into HERF is, and none into the highway, or is that based on asking no, for more money? No, I wouldn't want to pull it out of the highway because the highway has to pay for the sand and the salt. No, I mean, I mean paving. I meant paving. Taking, not putting it into paving and... And dispersing it between those two. But yeah. that's just, again, my idea, my recommendation. So it's a, tw a 28000 So the 28000 is factoring in that you're getting more money from Swenson. You're getting, you're increasing your cubic. So the $28,000 is based on our asking for and getting more money. Correct. Okay. All right. So and every time we've talked you about... For to get you that $28,000. Yeah, what would your cubic can price now? Six and a half, I think. And I put it up to eight and a half. I don't know. I just threw in a number. And but that's also a, appropriating 120 grand for the herp and not just 90,000. So that's so, another big, big, big jump we for the taxpayers. Only putting away 90,000 every year mm -hmm. or to pay for the equipment. Um, that should be increased. The prices of the trucks are increasing. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. about halfway out of it. So if you look mm -hmm. over onto the right hand account balance, I'm negative for three years in a row. Mm -hmm. So my, I'm, I'm trying to slap something in here that we really don't have numbers for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you should. Swenson, you don't know if they're going to move. They should move because we gave them more of a stretch. Of, yeah. Anyway. So yeah. Every time it's... that comes up, we have discussed the fact that the, we always told them that. When they came back for more, we would have some information to base it on. Like, for example, an extra half mile? I don't know how much that new section of road, but how it's not far like that, that was. We, but and We didn't other... close down the road for the, for the spring, correct? Right. We didn't. right we, no, we didn't post roads. Right. Plus, yeah, so plus not, additional. They don't have to, they're not stopping because of us all year. That Could has you? nothing to do with us. 
your your eight and a half percent should be like ten and a half percent. Give them something to negotiate on. That's where you shouldn't just go in there with eight and a half percent and say in with their guns and they're going to jump on it. Mm -hmm. You ought to have it high enough yeah. so that they'll well, say, "Well, they'll come back and offer you nine percent or something." The other um, thing that was discussed was that uh, I think Greg was going to keep track of how many extra trips they had to make up there every year because trucks couldn't get up because they didn't have good tires or whatever and I don't know whether that was ever done but that would be another good point to have yeah there's definitely half a dozen times this year yeah that we had to make a special trip over there yeah and that's at least a half a but they didn't have to stop trucking at all for mud season huh hmm. their road was still good yeah so it's a good shame. Yeah, we put a lot of money in that road right. two years ago, but if you, right. you do that another year or two, you're going to have to put that money back in again. Right. So you that money... That for, you pound that for another year or two, and you're going to put forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 in that okay. road. Get it back up so it'll stay. Yeah, so that's good to good negotiating point also. Now, who paid for that upgrade? Was that grant. state money? That was part oh, okay. of it was a grant, and then part of it was our match. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was year we bought that thirty thousand yards of gravel. Uh, yes, it was a lot. Three thousand yards of gravel from uh, gravel construction, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and hired them to haul it. Oh, right. And, yeah. But the town paid a lot of money, and we had a grant to put the culverts and stuff up to there. But mm -hmm. the town actually paid for the trucks to haul the gravel. Oh. The gravel. Yeah. Huh. I wonder how we could ever figure that out. Shouldn't be too hard. Mm -hmm. Even the, the not budging for 20 years of an increase. Right. Mm -hmm. There's cost of living. There's there's tons yeah. of things for mm -hmm. backup. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in the last 20 years that hasn't at least doubled. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you ought to be yeah. kicking around the idea of 16.5%. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we have I mean, as far as I know, the select board or the board has never met the new owners of... of I don't think we're going to see any anybody else oh, yeah. than Kevin. You think there'll be more people involved? You start talking some real money, there will be. Oh, real money. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you? Oh, they're, I don't even know where they are. Canada, I guess? They are yeah. Canada. Yeah. yeah. But they're making... But they must have representatives. So. Oh, yeah. They're, but I think their staff yeah, is the same there's a guy that comes from Canada say. down to Rock of Ages every day. Mm -hmm. He drives down here mm -hmm. every day from the other mm -hmm. side of Derby. I yeah. can't think of the name of the town up there. Mm -hmm. He goes down and he runs that place every day. Mm -hmm. So if you start talking some serious money, mm -hmm. Stamstead? Yes. But even having proof and backup, I mean, we take their word for granted that that's how many cubic. That's yeah, that's there. a tough one. And, yeah. and, that and there's a lot of trucks going up down yeah. that road last fall. I don't know yeah. how many is this spring, but so I've sat right over here that, and watched. That there are a lot. Of Why can't we be providing twelve, fifteen little days now for proof there. of yeah. that cubic yard mm -hmm. cubic? Um, but anyway, that's my opinion. Yeah, I always thought that would be a nice thing for the auditors to tackle, but that hasn't happened. No. Okay, so anyways, this this uh, is based on two things. Asking for another $30,000 a year from the taxpayers, which I agree that $90,000 a year has been quite a lot, long time. Which should have been increased yeah. a long time ago. Right. Really should have. Yeah. But the way it is now, we have enough money to pay for that. To pay for the new truck. Yes. And make a, pay, make a annual payment on a new grader film. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. <laughs> right, that was me. Why did you decide on a new grader? Well, that's an, another subject. That's so. on the agenda, but we'll get there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when yeah. it was brought up to my attention, it was shortly after you left kind of thing, and filling out an application for ARPA to try and get money to help with it without having to raise taxes. And then it went to us actually moving forward, finding numbers, and then, and then that's where we are. So. So I went and got. Well, I think. Yeah. Go ahead, I didn't mean to catch up. Oh, that's yeah, right. right. I think that uh, for one thing, you should talk to Roy up here, who works for the state of Vermont, 
figure out what them two graders went for down there last year. Then they have one now? They got one now, and the, but they sold two last fall. Oh. One of them only had $3,000 on it. Hmm. And I'm thinking that we should be looking into what they got out of those. And yeah, I, I actually tried to stop there today. I had to go for a dentist appointment, and I did pull in the yard. But you can't drive in the yard now. They've got gates. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody to come and let you in or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was going to go and Check it get out. the information mm -hmm. on that mm -hmm. grader and see how many hours, what kind mm -hmm. of shape it's in. All if that. you want, I'll get a hold of Roy. He'll let us in. Yeah, I mean, I think... We can get in and look at it sometime next week. Yeah, I think it's beneficial to look at it. And um, I, But I think we should find out what those two went for last year. One of them had... One of them I felt had too many miles on it, uh, hours on it, 7,000 hours. But the, mm -hmm. other, the other one was only like 3,200. Hmm. Yeah. And they had a front plow on it, the, the, the blade and the wing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was set up in good shape. It was good such greater, about like the same ones down there now. Right. Well, the one that's there now is being auctioned off. That's going to be... Those two were, too. Stayed but they did it in the fall. Okay. And it was a... Silent auction. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A what? A silent auction. Silent you auction? You on the internet. You just bid, you just oh. bid on, the, on the computer. But... You just get that, one bid, or does it keep going up? It keeps going up. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, you can bid many times you want. Okay. You can set it up to bid from, say, 100000 to 150000 or whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. but, um, I think we should find out what those two graders went for, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that if I talk to Roy, he could help me do that. And it would give us a ballpark figure to start from. I mean, a grader with 3,200 hours mm -hmm. on it, no more amount of roads we got, mm -hmm. that would last a pretty good shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would... Definitely look it over and see well, of where, course, the, where the wear and, and the hours definitely matter. matter. <clears throat> but well, generally they're... No one to state, most of them are road miles. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, but also there's a hundred different people that are running it too. Right. That's a red mm. flag for me. But certainly happy to go, you know, look at it and see if it's a right. viable well, option. The, like the one that's down there now, if it, you know, I, I think that it would... It would be worth some time spending to find out where it come from, yeah. which district it come from, and go talk to them and find out how many hours on it, and what the right. what the other two sold for, so that we could begin to get into the ballpark of coming up with something decent mm -hmm. that wasn't all wore out without having to buy a brand new one. So we don't even know if that brand new one is still available. Don't make any difference. No, well, you know, it depends on how anxious we are to get one, I guess. I'll guarantee you, you call them right up and they'll find you one. You think? I know they will. Yeah. Who's that? The state? John Deere. Caterpillar, or John Deere. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've tried Caterpillar and they do not return my calls. I did I the know. same thing all winter. I don't know what the problem is. They haven't called me know. back huh? either. Yeah, huh? but I, I have been dealing with United uh, for John Deere and they've given us quotes and there was we have a quote that is holding one until i forget the date now. 30 days it yeah. might have already gone but yeah. doesn't mean that they're sold they're right. still, they still might be available and it still could be the same um, price <clears throat> and it still could be the same price mm -hmm. my fear i don't know how deep we want to get into this but my fear is if we wait till next year now we're talking, we could be talking half a million mm -hmm. dollars mm -hmm. instead of 350, 360. Mm -hmm. Also, our new, our old grader, they're offering us $45,000 for that. Thing. I heard that. And there's no guarantee we're going to get that next year after we run well, for another, for another, you know. If she stays together. Well, that's just it. That's, <laughs> that's a gamble. Do we want to take that? I mean, I, I know last year, the grader broke down right when we needed it the most during mud season. And, you know, I don't want to be the guy on the end of the phone saying, ah, I'm sorry, I don't have a grader. I can't fix mm -hmm. your roads. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not saying it's going to break down, but it's old. It needs, it needs to, we need to get the value out of it now. Exactly. I, that, I agree with that. Before value is gone. But on the other hand, as far as we're behind we are on all the equipment, it's not like you can jump right in, buy a brand new grader and two brand new trucks all in one year. No, no, yeah. no. That's basically no. what 
this is going to boil down to here right off if we don't watch it. Well, the two trucks were purchased in, in similar years, one year after. But that the, wasn't so that, put that was a bad idea. That, that wasn't <laughs> our fault. That was no, no, the select board's fault in listening to somebody that they shouldn't have been listening to. Yeah. Right, but that's that's still the fact. And that's why I set it up to send them trucks to Charlie Boys every fall and have them gone through mm -hmm. and fix anything they mm -hmm. can find with them to extend the life of them trucks. Mm -hmm. Right, but they still they're still. 2013-14. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but they ain't got nowhere near a million miles on them like the road tractors do. Oh, I know, but these trucks aren't road tractors. That's right, they're, they're not. They're doing a lot more work than the road tractors. Anyway, I, so would I'm you, just giving information. That's all. I'm not pushing no. any sort of issue. I just, I know that that grader is getting tired, mm -hmm. and I know that next year we're going to spend a lot more money on the grader, yeah. regardless. It's just a, it's mm -hmm. just a known fact. Mm -hmm. So, I think, strike while the iron's hot. And I'm super happy to take a look at that used one down there. I think we need to do that. I, I really that can't works. see this town jumping mm -hmm. right into buying a brand new grid and making payments on it. And, I mean, I know we're going to have to make payments on it, but it, somewhere that I think it needs to be looked into some before you jump right into it. What year is the grader we have now? It's uh, 94. Wow. It's only 30 years old. It's got almost 12,000 hours on it. So are you willing to, um, um, Alfie, are you willing to work with Chuck on getting in touch with Roy and Absolutely. finding out what... Like I said, I'd stop there today. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. On my way back from the mm -hmm. appointment. Huh? Gates were all locked. And mm -hmm. You used to be able to just drive in there. And right. Go up to the okay. door and ask for help and ask questions, but really? not anymore. It's wow. All, it's all gated huh. off. So, huh. uh, but yeah, we can we can make phone calls. I mean, I know the guy that runs the runs the parts place for the district, mm -hmm. um, so I could find out either mm -hmm. from Roy or from from him. I can there's mm -hmm. people I can call and find out about. Well, I think we should find out what district come from. We'll talk to the people at the district. Right. Figure out how many oh, people are and mm -hmm. how many hours right. are and, on it. And ask the question, mm -hmm. why are you getting rid of it? Is it just is it just mm -hmm. time? Mm -hmm. Is time up or is it a certain issue that they mm -hmm. they exactly heard of or smelt? I mm -hmm. mean it's you know mm -hmm. uh, those are the kind of questions that I would ask about a use grader. Because graders are expensive. Mm -hmm. I, I get it, mm -hmm. I, you know. But they're also expensive to repair and and fix. And I know, there's no we've, warranty. And there's no warranty. Mm. Uh, not to mention the old graders are just, they're, they're not soundproof, they're mm. not air, air mm. quality is terrible. You know, the newer mm -hmm. ones have all that built in. Mm. So there's that factor too with the health of our, of our employees. Mm -hmm. Do you think it makes sense to contact United and ask if they would extend that? You know, you had the 30-day quote that kind of locked the price in, which I guess is expired at this point. It's um, over, over, yeah. Does it make sense to reach out and see if they would, like, re-up that for another 30 days? Um, no. They probably would if they thought we were closer to... Mm -hmm to a decision. But and if they haven't already sold it. I mean, they weren't guaranteeing to hold it for 30 days, right? They were just... No, they were... They, we had that greater if, oh, really? if we wanted it. Oh, we could have, okay. If we made a decision within that 30 days, mm -hmm. yeah. it was ours. Um, yeah, I can certainly call mm -hmm. her and call the sales lady and find out what they're willing to do and, and furthermore ask if it's still available. Mm -hmm. Diana, do you think that would be worth doing? Just sure. Kind of extend our Keep options. Keep our options open. Yeah. I have a question. How do the hours compare to miles? If this has got twelve thousand hours on it, about how many miles would it have on it? Oh, well, it depends. That's hard. There. Uh, I I wouldn't know how to figure it. There's no it, conversion it, factor. So Ivelyn <laughs> will click up the hours too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of some of the newer ones have both an hour meter and mile, right. mile yeah. meter. This one doesn't. This one mm. doesn't. This one is just. And what's the age of the one down at uh, the know. central garage? I don't know what that one is. That's what I was hoping to find out. Some of that. Yeah, we got an email about that the other day, and I don't remember what he said. 
somebody was just suggesting that we look at it. But I don't think there was really any details in the email. Oh, okay. It was just no, just said it was a grader. Yeah. For sale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the email that I had forwarded to you, I did contact Union Bank to get numbers from them just because I wanted to see. Oh. And they clearly beat the interest oh. compared mm -hmm. to to um, John mm -hmm. Deere. But yeah, and of course she's chopping up a bit, wanting to give us a loan. <laughs> <laughs> And Lizzie, you had asked about what was HERF. I got it now. I figured it out. Oh, okay. Um, Highway Equipment Reserve yeah. Fund. And that was set up back in the probably, I don't know, the 90s, maybe the 80s. And the reason for having a reserve fund that the voters are supposed to approve setting up a reserve fund. And once they do, then they vote to put money into it every year. And that way the select board can spend it without having to go get voter approval every time we buy a truck or a grader or something. Got it. Okay. So. So there's definitely playroom in here because mm -hmm. I was trying to throw in um, increase like for the grader or for um, the next dump truck. I don't know what the numbers are going to be. Right. So that was just a yeah. rough, and without trade-ins, because I don't even know what they're going to offer us then. Mm. So I just yeah. kind of won. What did we get on the truck that we're trading in now? Uh, Thirty-three thousand. Really? Mm. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, okay. I think you could assume this uh, roughly the same amount next year for mm -hmm. 2014. Mm -hmm. As far as trading, oh, because right. it'll be the same, right. same age, mm -hmm. same about the same mileage probably. But there's no saying how how much a truck's going to cost to purchase next year. Mm -hmm. You know, as we mm -hmm. all know, everything is going up. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think I think the 2014 we could probably hold off on one year. Mm -hmm. um, Due to the fact that Chuck's had it looked at, looked at, looked mm -hmm. over every fall, and then um, fixed what problems there are, we could probably get away with another year on mm -hmm. the 14, and that would help out on the on the schedule, the payment schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this yeah this chart great, but it it also doesn't talk about the trucks and the loader, but there's all kinds of other things too. Now, when we paid off the what was it the loader and the low pro that got paid off last year? Yeah. Out of surplus. No. No. We, I presented you what the payoffs were, and the select board says yes, pay them off. So that's what I did. But we had money to do that in the budget? It didn't come out of her, did it's it? It's just a budget. <laughs> that's what you tell me all the time. It was approved by the select board to pay them off because we were going to be saving an abundance on interest. Okay, I thought I thought you said there was some surplus at the end of the year, and I was going to ask if there we're was, looking there at was that a, new truck. Thank there you. Was a surplus, I thought so. Yeah. Okay. And then the new truck we're buying now is is covered. It's, yeah. It's covered, right? right? We and we have right. one thousand left on right. that truck. Right. Exactly. That's Everything's paid off. And then Plus, we have can be paid off. 100000 in the herd after that. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. We have 41000 but again, next year, another 90000 will be going in on top of that. So, so this As of July 1. carryover of 143 does that include the FY23 90000 Correct. Okay. So, that's already been put over. And then after July 1, we'll have another 90000 and that's how we get up to the... 244, right? Yep. Okay. Just because he's discontent, you're filling out an application on that, uh, the ARPA money, right? I did. I submitted one for the grader, for a grader. And it has to be used for a grader? It wouldn't be wiser to turn around and buy the second truck? You got 140000 in there, and whatever you get out of the ARPA, turn around and buy the second 10-wheeler? And then worry about 
Um, it was just brought up before you left about getting a new grader. So um, actually, I would like my digitizing out of the ARPA before a vehicle for the town office. But um, it was recommended, and that's why I put it in for the grader. If somebody else wants to put one in for the dump truck, have at it. I mean, but I yeah, it doesn't. Doing, she all she did was fill out the front page and else was, um, included the uh, jumping in to fill out the application. The, uh, yeah, I know Chuck was going to do that when he got back. <laughs> I don't know what you guys talking, but you better try something else. <laughs> okay, well, she just put did the cover page and included the. Uh, well, I'm just trying to think of ways to end up with having two fairly new 10 wheelers without having a lot of payments with it. So mm -hmm. when you actually start putting your money into the, the HERP fund, mm -hmm. you can buy a grader. Mm -hmm. And there would be money enough in there to make the payments mm -hmm. rather than... I mean, still, I mean, at, right now, even if we ordered one, it's going to, they're only going to be two years, well, a year apart, two years apart. Well, but, I, you, know. you don't need to use that money until what, 25? Six. Oh, the ARPA money? Yeah. 16, uh, 26. So, if you had it all set there, oh, waiting well. to go on that new truck in 25, they would be four years or three years mm -hmm. prior. Right. Either and or it would be great to, without having to raise more taxes mm -hmm. for a piece of equipment for, with the ARPA, but there's a lot of applications with the ARPA, and the first round hasn't received answers of why mm -hmm. they didn't get their money. And then there's a second round, so it falls really on the select in the second board round, as yeah. far as... Um, well, the select board decided to put them all in the one pool and and not look at last year's plus, and then look at this year's, it's going to look at them. All the ones that are pending. So what's what's the big deal about filling that form out? No, it's not really. I mean, the select board has to decide. Right. So it's not a big deal if we decide to put $100,000 into her or if we decide to put $90,000. And uh, Chris is actually really anxious for some reason to get it all decided, but it doesn't really have to be. But, uh, well, no, I, nice I know. It just would be nice to know. Right. Oh, yeah, for right. sure. No, Definitely. Purchase, well, but I, I know the first yeah. survey that was taken, people were interested in right. that road. only one, two roads and e road right. equipment. Yeah, that's and why. Yeah. In my, I, I think we should be chasing that pretty hard. I agree. In my personal opinion, I think the spending it on road equipment is the best way to get it sort of allocated to the taxpayers in general. Right. Me Everybody too. gets a little bit and of something. Hopefully, it will get the budget back into a realm that we can handle. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because the cost of everything is going up. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. How soon do you think we can start that discussion? Hmm? How soon could we start that discussion as far as how it's going to get allocated? Um, well, Chris wanted to do it as soon as the first, uh, the deadline for new applications was the 1st of May, and mm -hmm. I don't hear anybody discussing anything new that's coming in. So, um. So maybe, like, could we talk about it at our next meeting? Would that make yeah, sense? Yeah, we'll continue to talk about it, yeah. Yeah, we might even have a special meeting. Well, we already had a special meeting where we invited the whole public, but uh, it would be nice for us to be able to just talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, you guys are going to look into that uh, used grader. Come back with an idea of whether or not yeah, it's... I think the only thing we won't be able to get is the price. Oh, the price. yeah. It's auction. Yeah. It's, nobody's, it's, it's anybody's guess. Yeah. But we should be able to find out what the two went for last year. Mm -hmm. Right. That will help. Right. I mean, it'll narrow. give us... Mm -hmm. That'll narrow it down. It'll so. get us into the ball field and I, mm -hmm. instead of being down on Route 14. <laughs> yeah. When do they start taking bids for it? Do you guys know? They, that will be a public auction May 
Memorial weekend, yeah, isn't it? It's Memorial Day weekend. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. The right. end of May. So, so mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, mm -hmm. three or four weeks. But if we decide to put this money into the HERF fund, we can do either one. We can put it towards a grader or put it towards a truck or some yeah. of each. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If we. How long did it take to get the new truck? I mean, when did you start ordering that? Yeah. More than a year ago? And it's been, we're going to get it in the fall? It, from the time we ordered it until the time we get it, I think it's 13 months. Really? Hmm. It's supposed to it's supposed to be built August 1st. Yeah. <laughs> really? We were supposed to, they figured we'd get it somewhere around the first week of September. Mm-hmm. That was mm. what they told us mm. last fall, mm. okay. but that could have mm. changed. Right. No, it's it's. I've talked to the to the salesman, mm. Sandy Ladd. Yeah. And August first is the build date, <laughs> and then it's two months mm -hmm. to get the equipment put onto it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, it was mm. going to be. I think it was Ju July first was going to be the build date, but everything yeah, 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 pushed well, back, yeah. so. pushed back, and moved right. around. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah. So can I throw in this Valley Lake RFP that I would love to get the ad put in so that the time frame has, have you either one of you looked at the RFP that I emailed you that Skip Lindsay and Michael Gray created? Oh yeah. For the Valley, mm -hmm. Valley Lake Engineering. Mm -hmm. um, when did you send that? Uh, they finalized it last Thursday, 5 mm -hmm. p.m. I received Isn't it the that next your... day. Here's the first pass of the RFP. Um, anyway, but there's deadline dates and it's the only, the month of May before um, that the bids would be due back mm -hmm. because it's crunch time. Yeah. And we budgeted it in fiscal year 23 for the expenditure. Not next year. So the RFP is, but what has to be done, it has to be advertised? So there's an ad in addition to the RFP? Well, Michael spoke with, with, um... Are you just going to send it out to individual... They are recommending that you send it out to, um, three, three qualified that are not on the debarment list that, that um would be qualified for the engineering. So it doesn't have to, our, our um, what's that called, our procurement policy doesn't say that we have to put it out to a public bid? Oh yeah, our person, oh. our, our policy for oh. the town, yeah. our purchasing policy, mm. yeah it does. And I, I stated that, yeah. um, so that's again, <laughs> it's, if you're following the rules, then yes we should be, it's over a thousand dollars. Our purchasing mm -hmm. policy is over eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars out for bid. Yeah. Um, but it is advertising. Absolutely drives me nuts. And and um, I have email contacts for Dual. Help me out. Dual and King. Dual and Chase and Chase. Chase and Chase. Those and Chase. My three that I wanted to get it sent ASAP to. How about the. Uh, and I'm the guy who used to live up in the Red House, what was his name, Joey? Oh, Joe Wilson? Yeah. Maybe you could try him. I think he's Doesn't still... he work for Du Bois and King? Oh, does he? I'm I don't know. Sure. He was on his own last year, as far as I knew. But... Oh, really? I mean, it's Chase not that big of a... I mean, and... it's a culvert, right? Whoa. Randy, is this the well, same that's in the email, or is it yeah. changed huh? at all? Yeah. Do you know? It's a box no, color of wings. Is, this is the final Okay, yeah. yeah. With okay. all the specs. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I made more copies. I just didn't save one. Oh. I apologize. Do you want to look at Yeah. Oh, oh. Skip Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you. You want to have somebody that's fairly clever, or you're going to end up owning the garage on that store. Oh, okay. Where is the culvert that's getting replaced? On, I know I'm about to Right back to the church. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right out here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. So there's a, as far as the specs, there's a high, what? You know, mm -hmm. As far as the specs of the grant, mm -hmm. there's high expectations that there was a lot of detail. Um, yeah, really. That they have to meet in order for this grant. Oof. Yeah, 
get somehow you gotta keep water out of that donut. So mm. it ain't like you're gonna want it's a Farmer Joe doing it. <laughs> Is there a there's not a basement under the garage, the red no. part? No. It's just a slab. Right. Yeah. But it's cobblestone foundation alongside that bro. Mm, yeah. Huh. And that's gonna have to be replaced? Uh, yeah. short after replaced or something, I'm sure. Uh, mm, mm. All right. Uh So what are, are you asking for us something from us on this? Approval. Approval. That it's not just a draft. And if I have permission to send it out to those three. Yeah. Yeah. So it's sending Four. it to them Four. and also posting it publicly, right? Because that's a requirement. Okay. Yep. So whether it's from Port Forum. Gary Clark site. Um, okay, and the VLCT? Four. They, don't they have a page? Well, of course, we don't get their newsletter anymore. It's all Digital. online. So it used right. to be that you would have a place where people could advertise for things like this. Yeah, never mind. And it's going to be hard because we don't have much time between now and June 30th. Right, and this is May 22nd. To spend. Yeah. Well, I don't see much value in my reading this and approving it because Chip, I mean, Skip and Michael know what they're doing. But you pretty much got to approve it before she can advertise it. I know, that's what she's saying. <laughs> so closing date for the receipt of proposals is Thursday, May 18th. Bid opening will be held at May 22. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about not so not the guy from St. Johnsbury who already did work over there? Tim, what's his name? Tim. McClay. No. No, he's the one that does the work on the equipment at the garage. No. Um. Yeah. I can't remember his name, but he already he did the work on whatever was done out here already. He was the only one. What? Wasn't that? Was it Doug Newton? No. no. Wasn't that uh, Lou Whistle King had done the work up the school and over here on the settlement farm? Mm, maybe some of it, but I know that uh, the guy from St. Johnsbury, uh, I can't remember the name of his engineering firm, but uh, he was like the only one that responded to the bid at one point. I can Google it. Yeah. Engineering and yeah. Okay. Even then, I've got five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Doug Newton did the Nelson Pond one, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, this looks good to me. I read the other one, and... This one's got more detail. Right, yeah. I think it mm -hmm. looks good. Mm -hmm. I think they did an amazing job on it. Yeah. Grants are very meticulous, but you don't want to screw up mm -hmm. on getting 45000 mm -hmm. So they did really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you looking for a, a vote from us right now? That would be nice. I mean, we're not supposed to do it through email saying go ahead. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve it. That's approved. I'll second that. So I will have Skip Lindsay remove the draft. I'll bounce it back to you. 
Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay. And I have five listed. Okay. Yeah, I, I think if, if uh, George, Joey, whatever his name is, if he's Joe not, Wilson. he's not a, with a firm, it might be too big a job for just a single person. Is that what you're thinking? That's not his qualification. Okay. Well, it's going to happen okay. if nobody can do it in this time frame. Then it's extended to December, but we didn't budget for it. And, and that's Randy really wants super it. super anal because you budget with it, you spend it. It doesn't carry over. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so but it does carry over. $45,000 if you don't spend it by June 30th. Well, it's not spend it or it's not income, but we raised our match for this fiscal year. We didn't raise it for next year. How much of a match? Oh... <sighs> So where does that match go? It's, it's still it's well, sitting in our pot. It gets absorbed with highway <laughs> expenses that go over budget. <laughs> it doesn't just sit there. So if we go over in culverts, it's a budget. There it goes. A raise that was <laughs> just given outside of fiscal year. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, and it, if nobody can provide the services in the time frame required, can that money be put down as a deposit for them, say, to do it like next year? It can be the whole thing can be extended, but okay. Brandy just he doesn't want it to because it's, it's in the budget. It's been extended already. Okay. This grant yeah. was filled out in twenty one. Yeah. So it's been extended. We have until December. Mm -hmm. But again, it's not the same fiscal year, and we have mm -hmm. been sitting on this since mm -hmm. twenty one. Okay. So we don't. But yeah, anything that's over budget in the highway, it soaks up. Anything that's there. So. Mm -hmm. We always go over budget and certain mm -hmm. things. <laughs> Valley Road cover forty five thousand. That's in revenue. And in expenses it's Five. Okay, so there's. So we've got 4,500. So that's 45. So it's like a 10% match. 13. Thank 13. you. So it's now. Yeah, so that's, yeah. We can manage that. Okay, so where were we? Vote. Well, so I think we did. We didn't do the all those in favor. Oh, we didn't? So all those in I favor? <laughs> okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye, aye. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so sort of stepped on the road commissioner report. Did you have anything else? Uh, well, I don't have any new applicants. No new applicants. Okay. And we talked pretty extensively about the road grader purchase. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about the spreadsheet. Can we afford it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we want to. <laughs> we want to talk about. We want to talk about mud. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> um, uh, mm -hmm. The only, the one thing that's new for me is, is I wanted to let you guys know that I am taking a vacation um, for two weeks. Hmm. June 16th, I think is the start. So the last last two weeks in June. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I will find things for the, for the guys to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's not a super busy time of year unless you get involved in building yeah. a road or something. Right, some of these projects, but... And that's one of the reasons I'm here is to find out what's happening. Oh, okay, the yeah. I know you put money in there for an escalator. And I'm wondering if it's going to get done this year. Is it going to get started this year? I certainly hope so, yeah. Yeah. Um, you're talking about Valley Lake. You know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I'm in, in hopes of renting an excavator. Uh, I need to go talk to the landowners just to 
introduce myself mm -hmm. right well, right. Yeah. and see what they're and if they have any special requests or, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. all the of only that. special when I was talking to them the, the only special request they had was to make their driveway right and to be able to get in out of that old field yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told them that wouldn't be a problem right mm -hmm. you should talk to them yeah yeah, yeah. and if you get short-handed I wouldn't want her in an escalator up there. Yeah. Or dozer, or bucket loader, or anything else. Yeah, I think it's going to require a bunch of tools for sure. Um, first thing is to get the wood out of there, get the wood, those trees out. Mm hmm. Should we hire somebody to do that? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I really haven't done much on this yet. Mm -hmm. um, been kind of busy with snow and whatnot and <laughs> but I will I, yeah. I, mean, I think what we need to do is go and mark it out yeah how wide the right way is going right. to be yeah uh, and then we can cut the trees mm -hmm. within that mm -hmm. and then we can sort of lay the path as far as where the road's going to mm -hmm. be where the culverts are going to be mm -hmm. how we're going to configure the drainage uh, mm -hmm. there's, there's a fair amount there to do to figure mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. uh, in order to make it happen, but mm. I know we can do it. I, I, I'm convinced. When you, it's just a machine. If you get up there and I'm not around, them blue flags, the surveyor laid them out to be the center of the road. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Good to know. Is the is the who's the surveyor? Is he available? Uh, it's the lady. I think it was Lisa Karen. Jeanette. Yes. Lisa Jeanette. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's available. I mean, she's was there stuck. a PTTR done on that that property transfer? So I don't think any. Not yet. I don't think there's any. Not yet. Any Not property yet. that has to be transferred. Well, they're giving it to the town, so of course it does. Well, what? but the, because it's, we, the, the listers have to take it off. off um, no, they're getting property. it back. It's all on their. It's all on their property. The new road and the what's would be the old road is all on their property, right? Right. They get the they're, right away. Change. That doesn't make sense. The right away is going to change. The, the yes. easement's going to change. Yeah, the right away easement. Right, right. so there's got to be a PTTR for a deal. layout. We have a deed. But it, yeah. it's not ready for that yet. Yeah. Once we. Well, my get feeling in, is just once now that the listers are in there working to get the tax bills done, that their tax bill is going to change. Why well, should taking, it? Probably will. But we're taking not. land away from it. Correct. No, oh, giving it back. They're getting the land back where the road is now. Is the road getting moved? I'm not sure what. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. The big twisty corner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So they're gonna blast right down We're through sure that right field. Through that valley. So there's oh, no like sharp <laughs> corner. And yeah. when you go around, when you get around the sharp corner and that great big ledge is beside the road. Yeah. That's where the road will be coming out. Oh, okay. The new road, and mm. do away with that big corner. Bring their driveway over to make it decent so they can see both ways. Cool. Mm, it's It'll a bad be corner. great. Mm. But the easement, the surveyor told me that we had to get up there and the blue line, the blue stakes down around there, the stakes with the blue ribbon on them, mm. is laid out for the center of the road. Okay. So we need to measure it out and get the stakes on the outside, then get a hold of her. So is it 50 foot right away? So 50 feet from the center? Three rod. Yes. Right. So 48.5 or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so would she, but, why would the surveyor be laying out the center of the road? Somebody must have told her where it was going to be, right? I told her where it wanted to go okay. and I told her that she needed to stay away from Kirk Glant. Okay. And that's where the center of the road come out. Okay. Because we're not going down there <laughs> and play screw around with that boy. Oh darn. Oh, I give it up. <laughs> so that road is gonna stay down there on that corner, it's gonna mm -hmm. stay in the right of way mm -hmm. that we already have. Mm -hmm. And then it will start to go to the right. Actually the road itself will actually be in behind them big ledges that stick up there, them big well, mm -hmm. right, it'll be uphill from the left. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there won't be like a right turn, there'll be some kind of a turn, right? 
It would be just a long sweeping turn. Okay, it good. It would be mm -hmm. and a lot less steep than, no. than the hill is now. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so I've, I've got an excavator reserved. Um, and it's just a matter of waiting for the weather and getting our ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hoping to find we'll a third person. And hopefully that Greg will be back. Yeah. At least part time. Well, on something like that, as long as I don't have a CDL now, but I can run excavator and bucket loader and grader and all that stuff. But. Yeah. Yeah, as long as, I think as long as you're off, off road, right? You're, Mm. You can run it greater anyway. Load it. Mm. No, you have to have a CDL. Anyway. No, you don't. Where are you going to go to? Where are you going to go and get practiced on that? I checked with the state last year when I was owning roads. Mm -hmm. You don't have a CDL. Have to have a CDL to run a greater. No, that greater is way over twenty six thousand pounds. Don't that greater is not over twenty six thousand pounds. Mm. Okay. But you don't have to have a you don't have to have a, a CDL to run a grader anyway. It don't matter how big it is. Hmm. I beg to differ. But. Well, we could check it out, but I checked it out last year because hmm. we couldn't get anybody to run the grader, and I didn't want to go running the grader and not be legal about it. Hmm. Hmm. If it's over twenty six thousand pounds, you have to have a CDL license, whether it's a road grader or a bucket loader or what it is 26,000 is the limit for working on a t public highway I guarantee it I know it I, I'm been around it somebody like tell me last fall man. yeah well that could be I mean I, I, I don't mm. I don't know who told you that but legal I legal cities and towns hmm <laughs> yeah go to DMV yeah, well, or something we'll, we'll check into it I, I'm happy yeah. to check into it again but no, 26,000 is the limit for, for a weight run. Mm -hmm. Says it right on my license. Look on your license, it tells you. 26,000 is the, is the, is the, 26,1 is the limit where you have to have a clean license. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I said, you're down off the road before, you know, if we're not, in the traveling public, it'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure. Mm. Well, I certainly don't need to do it. I do no, I'd have you have your help. Absolutely. But I, I, there's going to be a lot of seat time there. So yeah, there is. So yeah. if you're if like the road is closed and it's more like a job site, does that make right. a difference? I mean, if you're on a you know, yes. road, will have to be closed for a few weeks, right? A couple of weeks at least. Well, I'm hoping to have the new road. Pretty much together before I take out the old road. Oh, oh. So, but I thought you were going to take the gravel from the old road to make the base for the new road. There will be a time. Yeah. That I figured it'd be a week. Close, close. To yeah. get that. I mean, it's so no, it's no big deal to anybody. There's plenty of other ways to get to the of detours, right? Yeah. yeah. Get I think a lot of people will be very happy with this project when it's mm -hmm. done. It's going to make it a lot easier in mm -hmm. the wintertime for our trucks. And uh, oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Way easier. Hmm. Yeah, Greg told me about, you know, going <laughs> around those corners and tuning the horn as loud as he could. But, uh, Rick Brown went down that hill backwards and put the dump truck in the, de in whoa, the brook. Really? Ooh. Years ago. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Met somebody on that sharp corner up there. It was in the middle of the road. And he oh. had no place to go. Oh, slippery. Mm. Down he went. What happened? It's scary enough, even in dry conditions, in a little car. He went down the one by my driveway too. He came all the way back to the hill, right down through, right out into that where I faced off of that guy down there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he wiped everything out. That mm. Okay. So the mud's all fixed. Uh, for the most part. Yeah. yeah. About that big hole out by Callus that got yes, that's filled healed. in. That's all healed. I graded it over Friday. Yeah. That was in Woodbury, not Callus. It was right on the line. Oh, really? Right yeah. on the line. Yeah. yeah. In fact, Callus put a load in it, and mm -hmm. then we put a load mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's cured. Mm -hmm. it's, like I said, I graded it over again mm -hmm. Friday. And East Hill. 
East Hill is still suspicious, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it was hard. I mean, it's it's hard. People yeah. are getting over it. Yeah. Um, I was up there Friday morning too, and just kind of graded over it to get some air to it uh -huh. right out. But there's uh -huh. still clay. There's still frost coming uh -huh. out there. Uh -huh. um, but it's mainly just mainly right in front of Dana Hoppies mm -hmm. and down below it. Oh. It's, it's, it's all clay in there and it just, mm -hmm. those two days of mm -hmm. hot weather we had, seven mm -hmm. degrees, it just, mm -hmm. <clears throat> frost came right out. So if people are coming down like from Thompson's direction that they could go down Sand Hill? I mean, Sand what's Hill is Bliss perfect. Road? Sand Hill is completely hard. It's all graded off. It's, so it's they can go really around there and... Yeah. yeah, but you have to get to Dana's before you can get to Sand Hill. Right, you have to that intersection. Right, right. well, right. he said, I thought he said just downhill of Dana's, no? <laughs> well, it's, no, there's a spot in front of Dana's. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and also down below his. Uh -huh. But we put, I bet we put 10 loads of gravel in front of Dana's. Really? Oh. Three inch, I mean, three yeah. inch mine oh. stuff, oh. and it just sucked it right up. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well. Um, it does every year, right there. Yeah. It oh. needs to be dug down and put some drainage in there. How is it over by Cahill's? Uh, that I haven't seen. I didn't get out there Friday morning. And today it was pouring rain, so I didn't want to get on the roads. We just worked in the shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, taking plow fronts off and putting them away. Because it's not going to snow anymore. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny uh, man. But, <laughs> So, yeah, I haven't been over there. But, again, we put a bunch of gravel in there also. Yeah. Um, in fact, that got so bad that I had to roll it off to one side. Oh. It was so wet, and there was just there was mm. no way I could get gravel there. Mm -hmm. The trucks were beating up the road getting there. Huh. So I just mm. took the grader and rolled it over to the side and, and uh, got it passable. Mm. So once that dries out, which... When it stops raining, it'll dry out fairly quickly, and I can roll it back over. Mm. Okay. But yeah, it's. Uh, I didn't think we we're. I thought mud season was over, quite honestly, until mm. those because <laughs> everything was coming so nice. Everything mm. was drying, and mm. we were grading some some spots, and you know, mm. but then it warmed up to seventy, 70 degrees. degrees for a couple days, yeah. and that changed everything. Yeah, I guess so. Sure, it was nice though. Mm -hmm. Sure was nice. Sure was nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is that it for the road commissioner's report? I think so, unless there are specific questions. What do you mean? Okay. Well, we've done the road grader purchase discussion, and I'm going to suggest that because. Chris was involved in the personnel policy discussion over the last couple of years. There's really not much we can do mm -hmm. without him. I don't want to discount all the work that they did on this for the last couple of years. So even though he made us promise to read it before tonight, which we both I did. It. Yeah. <laughs> Took a while. And made note, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, but now he's not here. So I guess we're going to have to put that off. Okay. Okay. Updates. You folks have a good night. Oh, good wait, good night. Don't want to talk about the large animal policy? Are you going to talk about that tonight? Well, we we're just going to have an update, but we don't really have anything to update. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, okay. Callis would really like us to adopt theirs. Well, yeah, we did get that email from that from that woman, and that is part of what Skip. Lindsay had agreed to do. We do have a copy of theirs, and Skip had also worked on a similar ordinance a few years ago that never got anywhere, so that's, you know, I was hoping maybe he'd show up and give us an update, but that didn't happen, so. What's, what else up there? I did have Bob Martin go and measure that shed, which is 22 feet from the center of the road. We're going to have to decide whether we'll discuss that during our executive session, where to go with that. But have you been up there? I come down through there the other night. Yeah. Yep. Got a hell of a mess going on up the top of the road up there. Still? Are there Still! Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> I was hoping they moved out for the winter. Oh, they moved out but left their stuff there. Oh, yeah, they're back. Those vehicles? Oh, they are? 
Yeah. Oh God. Those vehicles, vehicles parked right the road. The one in the road. That's yeah. We it's should be able still to deal with that. In the towns right away, their pin is on the other side of their vehicle. Their what? The pin is. <laughs> it's on. So that yeah. car is technically yeah. in in town right away. Yeah. I should think that you. Mm. Being a good spirit in you, Anna, you'd go up and top them into Sue and call them back here. For some of them, that piece. Yeah, good idea. Well, I'm trying to throw it in your ball. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I went up there, I was afraid to get out of the car. But I did have a couple of emails with her at one point. You were um, afraid to get out of the car? Yeah. You surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> and down below, down by that shed shed, I was afraid to get out because I didn't want the dogs jumping on my car, basically. <laughs> yeah, there's all these no trespassing signs and dogs barking inside the trailers and things. So I didn't know whether to go knock on, what door to knock on, but... But yeah, they probably don't have a, they, unless we could charge them with something, they wouldn't have much of a reason to sue. But we could charge them with something, I guess. Yeah, you do like you did before, and right up and hook onto it. And there you go. Up down the road. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if it don't show up, over the bank. That's what happened with that camper, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what should happen with them two cars that are sat in the yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one, obviously, that's... I look like it was full of stuff. I don't know if it's garbage or if it's possessions, but... that's So maybe the first thing to do would be to write a letter telling them to get their vehicles out of the road, out of the ah, right-of-way. Yeah, out of the right-of-way. Yeah. Are they, are they registered vehicles? Do we know? Yeah. One of them's not. Are they, you have to be inspect, I'm trying to remember what our zoning ordinance says. I think it's registered. It's registered, 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 yeah. So, we could go to court on that one again, but. Could we ask them to just move them out of the way? That would be Come nice, back. yeah. <laughs> yeah, There's that would be the first step. Land on that half an acre. Yeah, that's trouble. That's it's only a third of an acre. It's less than, yeah, it's less than yeah. a half, yeah. I mean, I've got a half an acre, and a lot bigger than Setbacks what they have up right. there. Yeah. Is this the tent people that I've heard about? I've been up there, but I... Camper haven't. slash tent slash... RV with a little... Garbage. Okay. Coleman Is it all on there, little... No. The garbage all on there, little... No, in some cases, section. Coleman the actually pen, took mortgages for some of those yeah, people up there, but not those... Yeah. So two vehicles, but yeah. like... Other Coleman than took a mortgage garbage, on some of that you know, property, but not... Three of them, apparently. But not this yeah. one. They paid cash. Do they yeah. live there? Like, would it be a simple thing to go talk so. to them? No. no. But... She wants to make nice with them. I mean, I think it's a good start. I think it's always a good start. To I know it is. Yeah. yeah, you're you know. right. You're right. It's more well received than yeah. a letter. <laughs> well, we can find a phone number. If you can get them to answer the door, you'll do well. So, mm -hmm. they're not living there. They were up there. Tell today, Monday, Saturday. They were up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a white Chevy pickup back in there. Mm. Saturday afternoon. That sign did finally get moved, right? Hmm. But if both both ends are still a town road, right? Yeah. Supposed to be. Supposed to be. Yeah. I think they are. We never threw one up. Oh, God. Uh, that reminds me of that whole thing. <laughs> that whole Coleman thing. Yikes. So anyways, um, yeah, the lady from Callis has not, does not have her horses back yet. Um, she was up there burying her own Friday. Oh, really? Yeah, her got and father. Got stuck, you mean? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> to help them? No, they were, they were there about two weeks ago, too. Is that really? Right? There was three feet of snow. They yeah. tried to drive down there with a little, with a little car. Uh, have they contacted you at all about 
Yes. Working for them? Yeah. Yeah. I, in my private world, mm -hmm. they would like me to move that shed. Oh. So I don't know if if the, if you, the town has put any pressure on them at all, but whatever you're doing is working. We started last fall. Yeah, yeah we said first I sent a letter that, uh, let's see. I sent a letter, and then I sent a notice of violation because they don't have a zoning permit. Um, so, I mean, whether they have a zoning permit for a shed, you know, it's kind of questionable whether well, they need one. But if they could just that more, it's more they, than a shed now. She was living in it for a while. Yeah. yeah. So if she so gets it moved, at least she could get a permit. The way it is now, she couldn't right. get a permit the because it's supposed to be 65 feet. It's in the right of way, right? What? Right. The problem is that it's in Two the right problems, way. right. But she's trying to rectify that? Is that why she's the, reaching out to you? My father has contacted me and asked me if I could move building. Okay. I, actually, I How don't think the father is that bad a guy. Mm. No, he's, he's quite decent. Yeah, he seems yeah. to. Um, but he's an enabler. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And that's part of the problem. But. Mm -hmm. He what would ask I, you to move I it up, up on well, that other little driveway? Or? That's what I need to know, is how mm -hmm. far does it have to be moved in order to satisfy the setbacks for the town? In order to get a zoning permit, the setback is 65 feet. Okay. So. From the center of the road, right? Right. From the center. Right, so there's no way you could get a per. I mean, the oh, way yeah. it is now, you'd have to carve out the bank, and that that wouldn't, right? No, I mean, you it make it up the bank. bank. No, you just put it on a trailer and carry it up into the field and further. Uh huh. Yeah. You got plenty of room. Right. Yeah, there, there's plenty of room, and when I put it there, I told her it was too close, mm -hmm. and it was right in one of the accesses to the field. It's like, mm -hmm. why would you block your access to mm -hmm. the field? Mm -hmm. You know, my logic. But, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, she insisted that that's where it was put. Mm -hmm. I just wanted it off my trailer, so mm -hmm. that's where it ended up being. Um, okay. So if it's, I think the 65 feet is what I will go with. Okay. Minimum of 65 mm -hmm. feet. Mm -hmm. And then it's still going to be not easy because mm -hmm. the father's saying, yeah, let's, let's do what the town wants. But I know mm -hmm. she is not going to. Right. But I'm going to do my best to enforce that. Uh, if I'm getting involved, it's going to be done right. I mean, that's yeah. just the way. You don't want to have to do it twice. Well, you're right. right. Well, once you get it on your trailer, you pretty much can control go anywhere I want to do it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so, it anyway, fell off. So whatever, whatever you guys have done is is working with the father. Okay, good. Because he's he's contacting me to move it. Oh. So right. maybe maybe that issue can be solved. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. That's going to solve all issues. But. No, it won't. But, but that's one. And and then if she does get it someplace where it's sixty five feet from the road and twenty five feet from other property lines, then she could easily get a permit. Well, she's got no problem getting getting it out of the way of it. Okay. Away from the road, and she'd yeah. still be more than twenty five feet from the property line. Mm -hmm. She's got what ten acres in there, right? Oh yeah, she's got plenty of space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plenty mm -hmm. of space. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's it's just a matter of doing it. Having somebody say, yeah, well, we'll mm. pay to move it. Yeah. Then have somebody do it. Hmm. Well, I think that would be a big help. Yeah. And so I personally I don't have start. any problem with you doing that for them. Right. On your own time and your own business. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I remember when John Gilbert moved a couple on the East Hill up there that time by the grader. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That was a mess. Moved what? You was degraded the movement. Oh. <laughs> they weren't quite in the same condition when he came oh. up. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Okay. So that's the large animal update. Um, yeah. Thank you for staying for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Alfie, I'm right out straight tomorrow. I'll see if I can catch up with you Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to a class. All right. Well, Thursday, maybe. Thursday, we can do it. Yeah. 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 Try yeah. Give, me, give me a shout. Uh, mm -hmm. Not 
night, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, give you a call Thursday morning. Yeah, um, for both issues, I'd like to have you know to take a walkabout on that. Yep. Uh, like project. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. You know, either Thursday or Friday morning. Friday. No. No, it's good, but Thursday I can. Okay. Let's shoot for Thursday. All right. Yeah. All right, yeah. you folks have a good night. Thank you. Night, Chuck. Good seeing night. you again. Good seeing you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's no sense going over the Municipal Energy Resilience Program, but I did want to ask, Brandy, if you did that webinar last week. No. On the Energy Program. I signed up for it? Yeah. And I get to watch it in three to four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, did, I did sign up for the $4,000 grant. I made that oh, decision really? just okay. to get it in there, yeah. and the board can decide whether, yeah. I want to find out what that's good for. Yep. Yeah. If Consulting we can. app, yeah, I can, um, I'll forward you the email that I had to fill out for the application. Sam Lash is the contact there at CVRPC, I oh, understand. Yeah. I'll just call. Um, but I can do something you make from now. Yeah. The, yeah. For the submission. Mm -hmm. But anyways, my uh, analysis after hearing that, and I explained in a email to you all, and I think you guys too, was a four thousand dollar grant that any town can get, and it's basically for doing outreach and maybe if you have an energy committee to give them some money to go get a. You know, I, I don't know, get organized or something. And then after that, if you decide to go forward, then there's a mandatory uh, energy assessment that is rather a big thing. Um, and uh, Buildings and General Services has uh, responsibility for the whole program, and they've gone out and they've got four three or four engineering firms that have contracted to do these assessments. And I think they're much more than anything we would ever need. Um, the third phase is the up to $500,000, which is uh, gonna be somewhat competitive. It's based on how much, how much energy can be saved. They kept saying they wanted to get the biggest bang for the buck, so they, have to have a way to, anal to analyze how much um, energy is going to be saved by these different projects, which is exactly what the program that I used to run 20 years ago with the Department of Energy money for schools and hospitals. And we get these, even back then, these studies would cost five or ten thousand dollars and then they would fill out a humongous application and they would be, be ranked based on how many BTUs were going to be saved and um, it was quite complicated. Anyways, I don't think we'll ever get to that point where we need that kind of help. I mean there are a lot of, I mean look at even Hardwick. Hardwick's not a big town but they have a beautiful big town hall. They have uh, the other building down the street there. They've got a big library. You know, we don't have anything that's nearly we that need complicated. We windows in the town office. Huh? We need windows in the town office. Okay, well that's us, you know, we can do that. We've already got that application in for money, for, I mean for our press. So the other thing is, it, on Woodbury Electric's invoice, mm -hmm. stating that the rodents over at the garage are eating through wires and insulation in the walls when they install those cameras. So mm -hmm. Something's got to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that, whether that, that uh, when Michael had those people from Efficiency Vermont coming around, I don't know whether they did the uh, garage, the uh, shed also or not. But anyways, um, we'll look into that $4,000 and see what that can be used for. And Nichols Dam Road, we don't have anything yet from our attorney, so I'm going to contact the, the Myers and have them come in and talk at our next meeting to see if they have anything yet. So, you guys got anything else? Nope. Anything else? I'm good. So I guess I'll make a motion that we go into our executive session to talk about enforcement.
Okay. Second. Second. What time yep. is it? Eight. Have a good night, everybody. Right. Yeah, thank you all for coming.